Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the shop. If this is your first time here, what this channel is all about is builds, tips, how-tos, and tool reviews to entertain and help you become a better maker. And today what I've got going on is a review of the new Metabo 4.5 inch grinder. This is considered their top of the line for the Chinese made stuff. And I'm also going to compare it to the German made stuff. See if it holds up and which one's better. Now I got this at a store called Menards. It's a big box store here and one of the brands they carried was Hitachi. And since Metabo bought Hitachi, they now carry Metabo. Now how much does all this cost? I paid 79 bucks for this thing. And this German made version I got on Amazon for 99 bucks. And right away one thing I've noticed on the Chinese one compared to the German built version is that it's a little bit smaller. And it's also a little bit lighter. The switch on the Chinese version seems a little more difficult to press down. You got to push this little latch here up and then pull back on the switch. And the German version is just a little tiny red button you just push down. It's a little easier on the German one to get going. But let's put this thing together and we'll test it out. One other thing you'll notice about the Chinese made version compared to the German made one is the German made one has this thumb screw to tighten up your grinding wheel or whatever you have on it. Where the Chinese made one, you have to use this little wrench that they give you with it. The next thing I noticed between the Chinese made version and the German made version is the way the protective shroud is mounted. On the German version, you've got this nice lever, pull that lever back and you can move that shroud around and take it off. On the Chinese version, there's a little screw on the inside there. You put it down over the top and it screws in. And it seems pretty cheap on the Chinese version. Another difference is the Chinese version is really kind of tough to get that shroud on there. A lot of dinking around with it. When you're changing discs or grinding cutoff wheels, there's a little button on the back of this, just like any other one. You just press it and it locks the wheel so it can't move. And you can put your flap wheels or whatever you want to on and off that way a little easier. Okay, time for the rubber to meet the road. Time to test these things. And I'm going to start out with the Chinese made metabo. And then I will do the German made the table. First what I'm going to do is put on this cutting disc and cut some pipe. Here's something that's interesting. On the actual German made Metabo, this little tab on the guard sticks out a little bit and you don't get quite as deep as you do with the Chinese made version. Okay, next I'm going to put on this flap disc and we're going to see if we can't make some sparks. See how this thing works while it's grinding.
So what is my verdict? Is this Chinese one any good? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It does the job just fine. It didn't slow down. You can see at one point I'm pushing down pretty hard on this thing trying to stall it. And I couldn't get it to stall. It actually moved the cart here. The little switch in the bottom actually isn't that bad. You just kind of push it up and I got used to it pretty quick, a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. And it's only 79 bucks. So it's really not a bad grinder to have in your shop if you need a grinder. Now, what's bad about it? What don't I like about it? Well, the cord out here right now today, it's actually having a heat wave right now. It's only about 30 degrees in here. So it's just below freezing. <clears throat> and this power cord is stiff as, it's stiff as a board. And you, you can move it, but it's really stiff. Where the German made Metabo, super flexible. Flex is really nice, not frozen at all. Another thing that is bad that it's, it's just this cheap guard that's on here. It doesn't fit on there real well and it's got to screw, screw it in. It's a real pain in the neck. The Metabo, German made, it's got that nice little lever. You lift up the lever, you can move it around. It fits perfectly. The build quality on this is much better. So should you go for 79 bucks and get the Chinese made Metabo over the German made Metabo that's $20 higher? No. Well, this is a good grinder. Works just fine. It's 79 bucks. In my opinion, this thing is overpriced by 20 bucks easy. This little porter cable I got from Amazon uh, probably a couple years ago now. This one was about $39. It's very comparable to the Chinese made one. And the guard on here has a lever that you lift up and push down. This one actually I think is better quality than the Metabo. It's a little more rattly than the Metabo. This, this Chinese Metabo runs a little bit nicer, but you might as well just save your money and buy this. As far as saving your money, it's 20 bucks. The build quality of this German Metabo is so far superior to this thing. It is the no-brainer of the year. Save up for another week or two and get the German made Metabo. It's a no brainer. This thing is much smoother. It grinds much nicer. It's got a five year warranty. This has a one year warranty, which for a Chinese grinder ain't bad because I believe this thing had like a 90 day warranty or something. But my bottom line is I vote the German made Metabo. The Chinese one, this will do a fine job, but for 79 bucks, it's overpriced. It's just not worth the money. And here's what I don't get, is why Metabo puts their name on this. This clearly is not a Metabo. There's no way. It's a Hitachi. Plain and simple, it's a Hitachi. Now, if they started making these in China, I could understand why they would call it Metabo. Obviously, it's a Metabo but they're having it made in China, which I hope personally they never do. With this thing, it's almost embarrassing to me. If I was an engineer that engineered the German made one, uh, I would be a little embarrassed by this. This is not Metabo quality. Like I say, it's not bad, it does the job. It's just not the quality of an actual Metabo. But whatever grinder you decide to choose, make sure you save enough money for at least safety glasses. I would actually get a full face shield. I always wear this when I'm grinding. You never know where those sparks are going. Those things can get up and over into your safety glasses. This is pretty cheap insurance. And don't forget to slap that like button.